Hello, this is Alex from Anthena and Helicopters. And welcome to uh, another one of our instructional uh, videos that hopefully will give you some useful information on the world of helicopters. Uh, this video is, uh, was put together um, to answer some common questions and misconceptions that uh, people have about helicopters uh, before they uh, get into them and uh, uh, sort of prerequisite to wanting to learn how to fly them. So I hope you guys enjoy it. It's just a series of questions that uh, I hear all the time that people always want to know. Uh, if you have any uh, more questions that you'd like answered, please leave them in the comment sections below. Uh, please subscribe to the channel, click on notifications so that we can, you can be notified when we get a new video coming out. Alright guys, let's get started. Let's go over a quick quiz that uh, I actually created, uh, which is on our website and uh, sort of gets you, you know, I really wanted to get some questions in there that you know, most people have and curiosities have about the industry and helicopters in general. Let's see if we can start with some of those. They're pretty fun and pretty light-hearted, um, but excuse my reading off the phone here, which I need to do because I can't remember all of them off the top of my head. So number one, do you need a college degree to fly helicopters? You would be surprised how many people ask that. They just assume because they look complicated uh, that you need a college degree. Absolutely not. Uh, you just need to be able to, to read, write, and understand uh, English uh, and have, pass a medical uh, exam before going solo, which is, again is, is not uh, too difficult. So no, you just need the will and the drive to do it and uh, some pretty good motor skills, which again, we teach you when you can learn, um, but no, no degrees are required. Do I have to be over to 21 to learn to fly? No, you do not. Uh, it, absolutely not. You can, ironically, you can learn at any age, uh, if, as long as you can reach the pedals, of course, so you're not, uh, not too small. Uh, we've had a lot of little kids actually you know, playing around with it. You just need to be uh, a certain age uh, before going solo, uh, I believe. It's 16 years to go solo uh, for a private license and 17 years old to actually take your test. So you are a teenager, ironically, you can, you can fly a helicopter uh, when you can drive a car, effectively, which is a scary thought. Um, but but I, you know, actually in our experience, some of these younger kids, they, they soak it up so quickly, they're absolutely amazing at it. The hardest thing is actually getting them in the books. Um, but the flying bit is the easy portion for them. All right, do you need any prior military experience? Again, a very, very sort of common misconception as they think that helicopter pilots must have been ex-military. A lot of them are. Um, but again, you don't need to be. Um, you can just literally have come out of school or off the street, uh, so to speak, in another job, and you can learn it. You do not need prior military experience. Do you need perfect normal vision to fly a helicopter? Well, back in the good old days, before the days of contact lenders and LASIK, yeah, uh, probably you, you certainly did. You, you, you do need 20-20 vision, um, and that's part of the medical exam, but you can have corrective lenses, and actually LASIK nowadays to correct to that. So as long as you, you fly with the lenses in, it will be part, it will be actually stated on your medical certificate. Um, you, you're good to go, and LASIK counts now as well. So uh, again, you know, so don't worry if you, uh, you know, if you don't have perfect vision with your glasses off, uh, you can still fly and get a medical certificate, which is the big prerequisite. Can I just fly for fun uh, if I don't necessarily want to do it as a career? Absolutely, you can. Uh, but yes, uh, a lot of people do do it for fun. It all depends what you want to do. Uh, some people want it as a career, some people just want to do it for fun. And we teach both, and you can absolutely do both. Are there financing options uh, available to help you? Uh, very good question. Um, this changes all the time. We work with a couple of third-party finance companies, uh, one of them is called Pilot Finance, uh, which will help you turn your flight training into essentially a car payment, that sort of system where you'll pay uh, every month uh, on, on your license. Um, or you can obviously go to your own bank and get your own financing, it's entirely up to you, but there are options out there. Um, it's not necessarily hugely easy to do, uh, and is limited because it is aviation, um, but it's, there are options uh, so you're not just on your own. I'm only available at the weekends, can I train then? Absolutely, uh, we are available seven days a week, uh, dawn till dusk and sometimes after dusk as well, uh, especially in the winter months when the sunset happens a lot sooner. Uh, you know, we will always train um, up till sunset for the flying portion. You'll have actually night, uh, night flights anyway, uh, but you can certainly use the simulator and the ground uh, instruction after night as well. But seven days a week, uh, 365 days a year, as long as you can find an instructor willing to come in on Christmas day, uh, then you're good to go. 
Uh, can I earn over 100k as a professional helicopter pilot? Absolutely you can. Um, it goes without saying that there are a lot of jobs within the helicopter industry, uh, but if you get up into the corporate and the EMS world or the uh, firefighting or the logging, those guys earn uh, well over 100,000 all the time. So absolutely you can. It's like any job you progress through experience, and this will form another one of the videos that we're going to do, which is talking about the career options as a helicopter pilot because there's so many different paths you can go uh, but you can get into a very very well paid job uh, in uh, actually a reasonable amount of time uh, you're not talking 10-15 years you're talking just a few years to get into a very good uh, job and we've got some really good success stories with our company that we can talk about in future videos as well uh, ironically our first ever uh, uh, instructor at our company is now uh, flying the big stuff uh, earning some very very good money flying a lot of uh, famous people around so uh, it is a good life and is a very, very good uh, financially paid career. Is there going to be a need for helicopter pilots in the next 10 years? Oh my goodness, yes there is. There always is, but if you would start thinking about how many different jobs you can do with a helicopter, it's a list as long as your arm. And uh, some of them, like EMS, are always in growth. Uh, uh, EMS in recent years just has gone through the roof. So we are actually in a pilot shortage right now um, for a variety of reasons. Uh, domestically. Uh, a lot of it's to do with a lot of old uh, Vietnam area pilots retiring and not enough people coming through to fill the spots. So ironically now is the time and this is COVID aside because uh, COVID will pass but our industry was going through a huge pilot shortage uh, before this. Uh, predominantly because as well a lot of the Vietnam pilots retiring uh, the airline industry was poaching all of our pilots. Uh, that's not the case anymore because of COVID, but um, I would imagine when things get back to status quo over the coming years, it will be and we will always be in need of pilots. So now is a good time to learn. Let me just get back to some of the questions here. Can I, can I become a helicopter pilot during my summer break? Well, obviously this is geared towards students. Now, what we do offer is accelerated courses. So if you're in a time crunch, we do literally offer courses where we will train you every single day. Uh, you can get your private license in up to you know, anywhere from about four weeks from zero to licensed, which is incredibly fast. And uh, through your entire uh, book of licenses from a private all the way to instructor uh, within nine months. Um, but hugely intensive. Uh, you will literally you know, eat, drink and sleep helicopters. We'll get you a hammock or you're up here at the hangar. Um, but you will get there uh, pretty quickly. So during a summer break, you can easily get through your private license and who may even be commercial at the same time. Can I become a professional helicopter pilot and earn money in less time than it takes to do an associate degree? Yes, is the short answer and that's why I wrote it. You know, part of these, this quiz is just getting rid of some of the misconceptions uh, around helicopter flying and like I said, you can get the whole thing from zero to earning money with nine months if you've got the dedication and obviously the finances and the time as well. Um, and that's pretty quick to becoming a professional helicopter pilot within nine months from starting and knowing nothing. Can a helicopter carry more people than a jetliner? That's kind of a silly question, but it's just a, a fun fact that, uh, uh, you know, uh, depending on which jetliner you're talking about, but the biggest helicopter in the world right now is the uh, MI-26 Halo, which is enormous, uh, which can carry, I think, up to 85 uh, troops in its maximum configuration. Uh, it is by far and away the biggest helicopter in the world right now. It's Russian and used for ultra heavy lift and troop transport but yeah helicopters come in all shapes and sizes down from our tiny little r22 all the way up to that uh, gargantuan mi26 and everything in between guys thanks for watching the video I hope you enjoyed uh, learning about some of the common questions that uh, people have around helicopters and our industry um, if you enjoyed the video please like it and uh, please subscribe to the channel as well uh, if you turn on your notifications button on your phone that will really help so you'll be notified when uh, a new video is uploaded and if you have any comments or suggestions please leave them below they'll really help us and we'll get back to you with uh, the feedback we have and uh, we look forward to seeing you again soon